I don't think that I'm the only one who remembers that when the teacher brought up Kahoot in class, everyone lost their minds. And I think that Kahoot still today is one of those things that can bring together people and make fights with your friends and families because you get so mad that they are better than you. But the thing is that when you create Kahoot games, you actually have to write the questions. But the year is 2023 and we actually have another solution. You don't have to write the questions anymore. So what I created is Quiz GPT. This is a tool uh, which you can use to create Kahoot questions basically without creating Kahoot questions. So what you have to do is that you have to supply your uh, chat GPT open AI email and password. And this is used to log into chat GPT, which is an AI, which uh, is a dialogue model and language model, which you can communicate with, which actually creates these questions. You actually then just type your subject, which in this case, I want to make a code about pizza. So I write pizza over here. And then you choose how many questions you want. So let's do 10 questions. You choose the time limit per questions. I want 30 questions. And then you also choose the language in which the questions should be in. So you could, forever, for example, take Chinese or English or whatever. But let's do English so that we all understand. Then we click just generate questions. And right now we don't have an official OpenAI chat GPT API, which means that we have to use some magic to actually ask the OpenAI uh, interface some questions, but uh, this is so you have to do this manually right now. But in the future, this will be done automatically. Now that's closed, so it's now generating questions, and this sometimes takes a while. So let's just let it do its magic. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. So it looks like we are finished. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have gotten some questions regarding then the topic which was uh, selected to be pizza in this case. So this is generated by OpenAI's chat GPT, and we see that there are some questions about pizza. So what type of dough is used for a uh, Neapolitan pizza? I'm not sure about that pronunciation, but it says wheat. Uh, most common type of pizza topping is cheese, apparently. You can see that we got these 10 questions and it's also marked which question is correct. And what you have to also consider is that chat GPT sometimes is incorrect. Uh, it, it sometimes just spits out random things. Um, uh, once times I asked it about questions regarding mammals and it gave me a question, what is a wolf? And the answer was a fish. Uh, so you, you can't really trust the questions always, but you can just sk uh, skim over them and see that they sometimes uh, somehow makes sense. And uh, what you can do then with these 10 questions, uh, the magic then comes in here that you can click export questions. And this basically downloads a file. And what you can do is you can click this link. And this brings you to Kahoot where you click create new Kahoot. And then you uh, click add question. And you say import spreadsheet. Then you just take this file which you just downloaded from the quiz GPT qu uh, website and drag it to a code and click upload. And then it says that 10 questions were imported so you just add these questions and what you see is by some cool weird magic these questions are now in code and you see that the correct answer is also marked with a check mark. So now you just have to add, add some uh, pictures to this Kahoot and basically you have a quiz about pizza in no time and you didn't have to look up these facts uh, or questions anywhere. And this is the magic of AI today and I also think that this is a very good example of how you can use AI to actually help you and not be afraid of uh, it taking your job but just making your job easier. So the next time your boss asks you to make a quiz about pizza you use quiz GPT.